Are you wanting to start your career as an HVAC technician? Well, you're in the right place. Let's talk about it. Let me walk you through this process. Let me share my opinion. As an active employer in this industry, hiring apprentices with various forms of certifications from training programs, I'm gonna share what I've experienced as the worst paths and what has proven worth my time to sit down for an interview with a technician. In this, I can show you how to become an HVAC technician and there's also something different that you really need to hear about. The straight answer is, as an HVAC technician, you need formal training. You will struggle in this industry with a modern technology if you don't. And the job opportunities that are available after school are gonna be pretty minimal without that education, while making it even harder to find advancement in this industry. The one required certification is your 608. The EPA 608 is what gives you the legal permission to handle refrigerant. Almost all the programs are going to either certify you in 608 or they're going to give you a guide and help you through the process of getting it. Now that I've covered why training is so important, let's talk about some of the different options you have to do that. And there are a lot of options out there. Some are offering six months, some as little as two weeks to be certified as an HVAC technician. These quick certification programs will get you at a fraction of the cost of a traditional one to two year program with a fraction of the time as well, which can be a really big deal. And many of them even have really good labs with fairly small class sizes that can get you more one-on-one -on -one direct time with an instructor. The vast majority of them are not legitimate and they make you questionable as a candidate for me. Extremely few of the candidates that come through these programs have ever actually been able to get past just a basic hiring exam. These short turnaround programs are built in such a way to produce text at volume as long as you can pass some arbitrary test and get your EPA, you're good enough. This does not actually give you proper time as a student to actually develop an understanding in the principles. And in some of these programs, you won't even have a basic lab to practice essential hands-on. In summary, they end up being a easy option to get hired fast, but many times you're left trying to find something other than just a an, an base installer role. But the traditional routes have some major flaws too. The most traditional route being a trades program through a local college or a training center. These will be a one to two year program that will be far more expensive and time intensive. Typically through an a, accredited trade school, you'll have a in-person class two to five days a week depending on your program. Most of the time, people like myself have to do this as night classes after we work our day shifts. It's pretty common to come out of these with a 10 to $20,000 in debt, myself included. I'm about 20 grand in on mine. The great upsides here is you get professors who are typically paid better. With better experience, you get time to absorb and understand the material in a better way. They usually have a far superior lab so that you can get your hands-on practice that you need. And as a hiring manager, I know the quality of the graduates that are going to be going through are greater with higher recognition from those of us in the industry. Like we just, we know, if you've gone through a proper program like that, you should be worth your salt at least more than the others. Now these traditional options are the most popular, but I'm gonna talk more about them here in a few seconds. Now, there is the union route. In the union, you'd go through a five-year apprenticeship with them and attending night classes at their facility. I'm not union, but I have a lot of good friends around the nation that are, and the union can be the best option in your area, and it could also be the worst, really depending on the local quality of the group and the hall that's close to you. The major problems with traditional programs are pretty apparent. The cost is high for anyone trying to start a career with a limited budget, you know, after you get graduated, you're not coming out of school with the top end of everything you have. This is a career that you build your salary and you build things over time as you build yourself. 
The time investment in these programs is significant, especially being the fact that they're in person. The upside to these is it shows that you're dedicated and you've got a heavy investment into your career in the employer's eyes. And that's part of what I'm looking for. That's something that smaller programs don't do as much for because you, I know that they're less investment on your part. And there is a major issue that is far more subtle that you can really only learn the hard way. There has been a lot of turnover in the instructors for these major programs. The lockdowns really flipped these teaching models on their heads and making many of them scramble. Most of them have reorganized at this point, but with the instructor issues of the turnover, I get a lot of feedback from new graduates. They're not getting the same level of education that we've traditionally known. And in some extreme cases, they were in a program that had very good developed lab. And all they were able to do is go look at them and have the instructor kind of explain and point but never actually got to do any legitimate hands-on with any of it. The factors I've mentioned still apply, except the quality of the education has become compromised at many of the traditional programs. So what's the solution to all this? Because we need some kind of way to really help minimize the barrier of entry while keeping costs down and really helping us push more people into the trade while protecting the quality of the education and the technicians that are becoming into it from these education systems. And that's where I've recently learned about a program that really caught my attention. There is a program out there that takes a lot from both of these previous models and combines them into something new. There are a lot of programs who have done similar things, but this one does something that, to me as an employer, really grabs my attention. They offer a minimized time requirement that removes the bloat while not leaving you behind. You get to work with the industry's leading software and you get to work with actual HVAC technicians. And with all of this, you finish with a certification from Auburn University in HVAC, but you can do this from anywhere in the nation. Now I'm talking about Preppy's HVAC technician certification program that you can do completely online. Now they are sponsoring this video, so I'm gonna say that, but I genuinely find them a valid option in the modern forms of education. And I was really skeptical, and I always am, of these short turnaround and online programs because it really is hard to become truly qualified and in my opinion, actually certified without having any kind of real hands-on to back you up. And that's where online certifications have been a major issue for me. But there are three things that caught my attention with them that I needed them to explain themselves on. The first was their integration of the VR Interplay uh, training system. Interplay is something I encourage and I heavily use even in my own team and really push my guys to utilize it. It is a fantastic education platform. So you're getting that built in alongside the other fundamentals training that you have to go through as part of your curriculum and it's at your pace. And it's one of the great benefits I see in having experienced online classes and training myself is getting to take things at your pace, whether that's fast or slow. I'm a really slow reader, so it's hard for me to keep up sometimes in a normal class environment, and I need that little bit of extra time to kind of digest what it is I'm trying to process. The second thing that got my attention was their externship. This is a requirement of the program, and I've only seen some of the more traditional options even require this, this kind of thing, and not all of them even do that. It's, it's not as common as I think it once was. It is a volunteer opportunity for you to go spend time with an actual technician in the field, and Preppy helps create that relationship and get you in with them as part of their internal network. And then from there, you get to take legitimate, as real as it can get, hands-on experience. And when you walk into an interview, you've got this thing that you can present of, hey, I did more than just go through class or just do the minimum requirements of this online thing. No, I've actually been in the field, on site. That's a big deal. That's something I'd really encourage you to put on your resume to help you stand out is I have in-field experience in my externship. So it's not just as simple as you went through class. You've, you've got some kind of field background that's more than just working in a lab environment as well. 
that's gonna really help you stand out to somebody like me who's looking to hire you. The third thing is their partnership with Auburn University. They've been able to get their backing from Auburn. This means that you're getting a certification from Auburn to put on your resume and without actually having to have gone there physically. And honestly, it is pretty good that you're able to do all of this at $25.99. That's $2,600 at the time of making this. And in talking to them, and I've talked to their CEO, they're offering a $100 off the course with the promo code HVACTIME. Link is in the description for it. And they're estimating that typically a lot of people are able to get through this within four to five months. But that's the great part about this, is it doesn't have to take that long. And it also means that if you need more time, which you likely will, and that's okay, you should, you've got it. It doesn't have to get done that quickly. But that's really what makes me comfortable saying that they're different. I can look at a candidate to hire from Preppy knowing you had a heavy personal investment on yourself to see this through. And the window to skate through another fast track option just isn't there in the same way. And you having to have an industry professional sign off on your final achievement of getting through the externship as a means of completing this is a perfect accountability measure that a program like this really needs to stay honest. The industry is hurting for the talent that you could bring to it. There's more opportunity to be what you want to be in this industry than there has been for generations. My own father tried to get a start in this in his generation, and it was really hard because there were so many people doing this at the time. Now, here we are, there's too few of us, and we've gone the other way. But be cautious coming out of school for any of the install type jobs. They can be traps if that's not something you're looking at doing. That may fit what you want perfectly fine, but for a lot of people, they're thinking about service. I'd really encourage you to take a minimum an apprenticeship or a tech one role with a known service oriented company because there is a difference. Some companies are service oriented and some companies are construction oriented and that's going to make a difference in what you get to actually work on and the experience you end up getting. And look up HVAC supply houses in your area. Go in, talk to the counter guys, ask them about who's hiring and let them help guide you on who they would even recommend because typically the companies that have great relationships with the supply house tend to be somebody who you've got a good chance of getting in with, especially if you get to say, hey, I went and talked to, you know, Johnson Supply here in Austin, Texas. They said, I, I need to come talk to you. That's gonna be a big deal for me. And, and they know what I, my needs are. They know what I'm looking for. And it's gonna help deepen the opportunity for you to start off on a good foot with me and trying to convince me that we're gonna be a good fit in a relationship. By the way, you see where I'm at, what I'm doing, all the stuff. Like I got this behind me, this big air handler I was at earlier, the rooftops you saw from yesterday's job. I mean, just look, I'm in the middle of downtown in the city right now on top of a high rise, getting to see other high rises built. Sitting, like this, this is our environment. And this is the heavy commercial side of it. But like, this is what you could get to do too, by the way, I'm just, just throwing it out there. Just wanna make sure that I didn't get past you. Like I'm, we're, we're here, this is the life. End of the day, traditional programs for those who can invest the time and resources into them, they're a great option. Something you should do though is go by there at some point and actually talk to some of the actual students and get their input, ask them questions about the classes, some of the things that they're doing, what are they getting to participate in, what kind of labs do they actually get to actively work on and what kind of lab facilities does their place even have? What, what does their program offer? And if they can't really describe much or if what they have seems very little, you, you might need to consider somewhere else because it is very critical at this stage choosing a really good program that's going to help you learn what you need to if you want a really fast and rapid growth and if you really want to develop yourself in this industry and that's going to come down to the core base fundamental training that you can get in the beginning it doesn't mean you're stuck with that permanently but it can ha make it difficult if you're going to transition at some point in the future to something else and largely because when you niche yourself too much you're going to find trouble in that and that's something that i would really warn you against is a lot of companies really will hone you in on just one specific area 
uh, that they're going to teach you how to work on and they won't let you really expand much beyond that because they want you to specialize in this one thing. Be careful of that, especially early on. You want to commit to something like that later in your career, fine. But don't let somebody do that to you from square one because you really need to spend your first several years learning as much as physically possible. On the other hand, if you don't have or if you don't see a traditional program as your best method of learning, or maybe it's just not worth the value that it's required, then I believe Preppy is a great option and it is the next evolution of what training programs are likely going to look like as we move forward. I do offer consultations and training myself where we can do one-on-one, -on -one. I can work you through stuff, I can be there. We do a video call, whether it's equipment you're working on, or maybe you've got a subject that you're really struggling to understand and you need to get a deeper knowledge of this thing. Reach out to me. It's at my website. Links and all for all of this stuff is in the description. I'm here to help you and support you in any way that I can through your career. Ultimately, this industry needs more people with better training when it all boils down to it. We've got to really work on this as an industry. And in the end, something to carry with you as you become immersed in some of the great aspects of this industry is to make time for your family, make time for your spouse, and make time for your kids. MTT, I hope to see you around.